I'm here today with Debbie Kluger, who is a life coach and mentor, but today we're going to talk about divorce coaching. Now, I'm not here because I'm just newly separated, let's make that clear, but perhaps I may pick up a few tips while we're having the chat. So, um, being separated at the moment, I suppose I'm going through lots of different things, so how can you help me as, with your process? Karen, I, I have a heart for divorce coaching because it's a really difficult time in most people's life. And, and at the same time, as difficult and as much pain as we deal with, all the emotion that comes in with, with divorce, um, there is, there's a light at the end of the tunnel. And, and you know, I found, in, and so my clients, that it's not necessarily, you know, a freight train. There's, you know, there's a good light at the end of the tunnel. So... Um, it's finding that, and, and a lot of people through through divorce use it as a jumping off point, a springboard, if you will, to make their lives something even greater than they ever imagined. So what I love doing is going and actually re helping people reframe their lives and see this as um, as a jumping off point, a, a, a reason instead of an excuse in their life. So a reason to improve their relationships, a reason to improve you know, how they feel about their job or, or, or getting a better job. Um, you know, a, a reason to do the travel that they never did. Um, but, but truly reframing the divorce so that it, it improves their life. You know, it's, it's, it's not an ending, it's truly a beginning. Yeah, and again, I suppose, with divorces, there's always the two sides. You know, someone's more the victim, and someone's someone's made the made the the move for the need of change. So, do you approach the different ways that you deal with people, depending on on, on how that happens? Some, I suppose now it's all. The, I'm answering my own question, isn't it? So, it, it doesn't matter which side of the divorce you're on. There's still pain. There's still pain. Yeah, yeah. There's still pain. There's still um, confusion and uncertainty. Loss. Absolutely. And then there's some grieving, and you know, there's there's lots of that, but there's also a future on the other side of that. And when we're in the mire and the muck, it's tough to imagine that that there's something better. So my job as a coach is to hold that space and and help you imagine what it is that you really want your life to be. Mm -hmm. And, and work together to move you in that direction so that you can achieve that. You know, uh, even from a personal point, although I made the choice to, to separate, I'm still in that point of just total confusion. Sure. What's next? Sure. You know, you just... Well, uh, you know, you're right, the confusion leads to clarity. Yeah. If you do the work and, and, and do, you know, if you, if you, if you start to kind of shuffle and, and, and really start to look, explore, uh, you'll, you'll realize what it is that you truly want. Mm. Mm. And then you can move towards that. But, but again, it's, it's a process that we take, and, it, and it, we take, take it from the beginning, which is the past. Because you have to know where you came from and recognize how that keeps you where you are. And once you realize how you got where you are and the stories that you might be telling yourself that are not necessarily true, perhaps the false beliefs that are running the show for you, and, and once you break through those, you can go forward and then create the life that you really want. Mm. And in that process, you get the clarity that you're looking for. And also the, the excitement rather than being... Absolutely. Being the victim or being in being in the humdrums. Absolutely. Well, look, there's a lot of personal power. Because, because many people that I've known over the years, you know, might be they, they talk about the pain of their divorce, and it's been ten years ago. Yes. They're still they're still in the moment. Yes. And that's that's what I'm talking about when I say you can use it as an excuse, or you can use it as a reason. Yeah. You know, reason to heal, reason to get better. Look, at, we get better, we get bitter. 
We have a choice. Mm. So, you know, with, with a little bit of help, you get a whole lot better. And quicker. Absolutely. And again, life's short enough as it is, so why waste months, years, or decades wallowing in what could have been? That's true. Rather than moving forward. Yeah. Right. Debbie's from the US. She does come down to Australia for visits, hopefully more often. But you can contact her by the website, which is below the video. That's right. But Skype, or just your telephone number. So click below. She's very approachable. She's very clever, and um, you do have a consultation where you can you can just ring up first with no obligation and and just discuss things. That's right. I do offer a thirty minute discovery session, and I do work via phone and Skype. So I have clients all over the world. You do. I do. All right. We'll take your time and give Debbie a ring. Thank you. Bye. -bye.